This is the moment German police uncovered an illegal internet operation in a disused bunker. Inside, a heavily secured data processing center allegedly used in thousands of offenses. Neben einem Steuerdelikt besteht gegen die sieben Hauptverdächtigen. Besides a tax offense, the seven accused are suspected of membership in a criminal organization, as well as being accessories to hundreds of thousands of offenses involving drugs, counterfeit money, forged documents, data handling, and the distribution of child pornography. Seven people were arrested in the raid last week. Just days before, Spanish National Police arrested a 28-year-old student. He is said to have instructed foreign paedophiles on what they should do to avoid police attention when exchanging child pornography. According to police, the student also sent a huge volume of child pornography through instant messaging and social networking apps. The two police operations reveal how sophisticated these kind of criminals have become and how they are using technology to hide their crimes. A New York Times investigation has shown tech companies reported over 45 million images and videos of children being abused last year. That is more than double what they found the previous year. According to the reporting, Offenders are sharing images of younger victims and are culpable of more heinous crimes. Earlier this month, police in Georgia arrested 11 people after an international operation against a child trafficking ring that exploited girls as young as eight. Among those arrested were the parents who were paid between $170 to $1,000 for photos of the girls. Despite the arrests, the New York Times reports police are struggling to keep up. In the US, some police departments are focusing their efforts in imagery depicting the youngest victims, as young as a three-year-old. There is no doubt that the internet, smartphone cameras, social media and cloud storage have made these crimes easier to commit. In 1998, there were 3,000 reports of child sexual abuse imagery. In 2014, that number surpassed 1 million for the first time. And in 2019, there were 18.4 million incidents reported. Facebook Messenger was used for nearly two-thirds of the incidents reported in 2018. Encrypting the app to ensure privacy also left it open to abuse. Now, tech companies and police forces are having to work even more closely to try and stop these crimes being committed.